What is up, guys? It is Nick. We are back on the lawn full playthrough, I guess. Uh, so we need to talk to in uh, Isabel in Karosha. I've heard the polished gemstones are ready. This, how'd you find out that I asked for a gemstone to be polished? You're you're hardly refined, but an interesting person nonetheless. Unorthodox methods aside, I must say that it was interesting to say the least. All right, I can take a minute to hear what you have to say. What is it that you wish to tell me now that you have gone through all that just to get my attention? So you wish to know why Bobby Lauren makes it hard for people. What a stupid question. Let me ask you a question. There are those who provide loans based on a mutual trust that the loan will be paid back and those... And there are those who take such loans and refuse to pay. Who is the one at fault here? Isn't it clear as day? Why do you think the League of Merchants in Hydel went on strike? It was all due to the incompetence of Bobby Lauren and the Grand Chamberlain Jordine. I don't know what Jordine is up to. However, I do know that the villagers are having a hard time because of high taxes. Yet Bobby and Jordine somehow managed to turn the blame on us. And to talk of prosperity in Serendia, what a bunch of liars. Come to think of it, you're an adventurer, aren't you? Have you considered working for the Jean League? We have many matters and needs of being taken care of, and hiring mercenaries in public will attract unwanted attention. I've also developed certain liking for you and your subtle ways. If you want to help, talk to Povius. I'm sick of staying at the inn here now. Alright, Povius. I already heard about it. You're just a messenger running an errand. I'm Povius, Isabel's right-hand man. Don't try and get friendly with me just because you talk to Isabel. You'll have to prove your worth to earn our trust in the Jean League. I do, however, commend you for not being fooled by Bobby Lauren's plea. There's a fairly simple reason why Bobby Lauren's League of Merchants went on strike. It's because Jordine, who in essence controls Bobby Lauren, went, wants to levy high taxes with the League of Merchants on strike. They'd have no reason to pay us back. What a fool Bobby Lauren is. This is clearly more than what you can grasp. Always better to show simpletons firsthand the try then try to explain the details. You'll find the Eastern Gateway after crossing the river and heading further south. A group of farmers that have formed a rebel group here under the leadership of Valrundi who have had enough of high taxes. Talk to Roland I, who he's a supporter of the rebels. What you do next is for you to decide. What are you still doing or standing around here? Get on with it. But do not keep Isabel waiting any longer. Okay, time to go talk to Roland I. Uh, this is when we go this way. I always get that mixed up. I'm like, oh yeah, we gotta go the other way at the beginning, and then we go this way. But I always want to go this way first, and then the other way the second time. I don't know why I messed that up, but I always do. Alright. I think, oh... Yeah, yeah, I got stuck on the, got stuck on the pole. I was like, yeah, that might have actually have worked decently well. But no, I got stuck on a pole. We're gonna do it off the top of this. If if this works, I gotta. I have to be able to get into a sprint. There we go. I got it. Yes! <laughs> hey, I mean, I waste so much time doing that. It doesn't speed anything up sometimes. Like, right there, I wasted a bunch of time because that definitely was not faster than me just running. But I, I gotta have my fun. So, you guys did respond, and you guys said it was cool to use the plus 15 weapon. So, we're gonna use the plus 15 weapon. That's where we are now. You guys pretty much said, yeah, it's fine. You know, obviously, late game, it's gonna become an issue again. But uh, right now, it's no, no big deal. No big deal, yo. All right, roll and I. Yes, I am roll and I, and you're an adventurer. Ah, the Jean League sent you. Is it your first time here? Yes, it is all true. This is where the rebellion has begun. No, on second thought, the better term here would be revolution. I seriously wonder what they're up to. They're taking out loans from Calfian while exploiting the villagers with high taxes. Bobby Lauren and Jordine Ducas won't understand why how Rundi and the rebels are standing up to them. I hate to say this, but we're, we've lost face in Heidel. Why don't you talk to Captain Tito, the man they dispatched from Heidel? He might be willing to lend an ear to someone who is part of a well-respected organization such as the Jean League. My only wish is for them to leave us alone and take an interest in bettering the livelihoods of the people. Alrighty, Hervano Tito. 
A member of the Jean League, an agent of Calfion, I assume. Hm. What to make of this nonsense? Why do you stick your nose in things not of your concern? This is correct. I am Hervano Tito, the captain of the guard here. How good of the Jean League to finally make their way here. So you say Grand Chamberlain Jordine is imposing high taxes to exploit the villagers of Heidel? Do you really believe in that nonsense? The Jean League is actually to blame for sowing the seeds of ant antipathy, antipathy and confusion to divide the pressure us into coughing up more silver. Those who have chosen to rebel are far and few, and I would assume that most of them aren't right in the head. How funny of the Jean Lee to come all this way when everyone knows their only concern involved is money. It makes me but wonder whether you're with Alrundi and the rebels as well. If you don't want to get hurt, I suggest that you stay out of this like an outsider should. Or do you plan on running along to Isabel to tattletale what you've heard like a child? Alrundi. Let's do that. Having no flexibility is his own fault. All right. With this, well, this is an interesting turn of events. He he, the rebellion couldn't have happened without good reason. That's humans for you. He he he. And speak of the devil, it looks like the heroine of the hour has arrived. Now that Isabel is here, let's see what she has to say. Why don't you go talk to her? All right, Isabel. I see you've arrived before me. Diligence is important. I think I understand what's going on now. We have Hervano Tito's side of the story and why the rebels have taken up arms. You've heard the name Alrundi, right? He is the leader of the rebels, and we are all we are all and we are also supporting him. Yes, yes. I can see you're confused, but don't no, er, don't know why the Jean League of Heidel supports the rebels. That's fine. You don't need to worry about it. There's something obviously wrong with Alrundi, though. We've received reports that Alrundi has gone insane and has even had strange bouts of talking nonsense. Something has definitely happened to Alrundi. It's secret. It's a secret, but as investors in Alrundi ourselves, we need to get the bottom of this. With the expectation of the rebels' leadership, most of the rebels themselves are unaware of this. You'll have to force your way through the rebels to meet with Alrundi. They wouldn't hesitate to attack me if I chose to go. Knowing this, you should disguise yourself as a mercenary from Heidel, crush anyone who stands before you in the name of Heidel. Alright, so now we have to go destroy some rebels. Which, this actually... I'll say, pretty semi-decent area. Oops, not what I wanted. Semi-decent area to farm. Am I really not one-shotting these dudes? I really do not one-shot these dudes. With a level, with a plus 15 weapon, I, I don't one-shot these dudes? That's kind of crazy. One-shot that dude. Yeah, let's go over here. We have to kill a decent amount of guys, but not a crazy amount of guys. Hello, everybody. So we were 20 when we started this episode. I don't know what, what we were. 20 and some percent. I want to get this character to 25. I'm going to have to start playing on this character a little bit more if I'm going to get it to level 55. Just simply because right now, everything else, I, I think I'm progressing pretty well. I understand that last, like, little bit to level 55 is going to be a grind, and a, or to, yeah, to level 55 is going to be a grind and a half. Though, I do actually want to get everything to level 56, because that's the point I want to get them to. Because when you look at the chart of, um, I'm trying to say, the chart of of family fund payout, um, there's a nice boost at level 56. There's a nice boost at 60, which is probably where you want, I think it's 61 actually. 61 is where you want to get your stuff, but I, uh, yeah, that that's not quite where I'm, I'm messing right now. I'm not too worried about 56 just yet. Eventually, I will care about 56, and we'll get there on as many characters as I can. But right now, I'm not too concerned with getting to 56. That's just where I am. Might change soon, but I don't, I don't really know.
I want to get my sorceress to 61, I guess. That's so I am concerned with getting characters level 61, but not like all of them. That's kind of something we'll we'll get to eventually. Chargers. Can't believe I got all of this done except charger kills. Need two more. Uh, up here. Can't see the charger, but there we go. Okay. So let's run up here. Get a little bit of separation. I'll turn around just to make sure. I have a couple following me. Okay. Summon up the Black Spirit. There's nothing we can do about them. They don't even know that the Jean League is actually supporting them. It's not like we can beg them to believe us. That's a fairly large group of rebels, if you ask me. Violent Encounter 2. The situation will only worsen if we continue to fight the rebels like this. Although I don't mind doing things this way, hee <laughs> hee, there are more important things at hand, like finding out where Alrundi is. Why don't we go destroy the Watchtowers and Flags to get this attention? Okay. So here's a Watchtower right off the bat. There's one Watchtower down. Let's see. I think per usual, this is where, you know, the logical spot is to go is here because there's all the barracks here. So this will be the two barracks down. Spin to win attack. Alright, so now I need to destroy supplies and flags. Let's go over here. I'm gonna get beat to these supplies. Oh no, nope, that dude does that dude wasn't going for the supplies. Nice. See, there's a flag out here. Do wanna kill some of these guys, help level up. Don't need to farm them all, but I would like to kill them. Why is there oh it's a stupid bar those barricades make it look like there's so many enemies here, that's crazy. Crazy. Get those supplies. The flags are the easiest part because they're just all along the road. There's like a million of them along the roads. Hello, everybody. Can I, can I get all of your attention, please? This is a lot of enemies. Spin. Oh, it interrupted my spin to win it to level up. Alright, so I need one more supplies and one more flag. Our flag is right here. Then it's just a matter of supplies. And the supplies respawned pretty quickly up here, so that's a nice thing. Okay, I'm getting caught on everything. Might as well kill those guys. Spin the win and kill these guys. Alright, let's come out here. See if any of them follow me. Spin the win. Alright. I was going to let you kill him, but you were taking too freaking long to actually kill him. Alright. Summon out our Black Spirit. We're probably the ones still trying to resolve matters peacefully, even after having been treated with such disdain. Look, over there. There's a scout in, hi in hiding over there. Look carefully. You can't see him? Hehe. <laughs> Just go and ask him what he knows about Arundi. Alright, so we need to talk to the soldier on patrol. This is the dude up the stairs. I think. I hate that, like, the, uh, the camps and stuff like that, they show up as... Um, enemies, because then it makes it look like, oh, there's a bunch of enemies in this area when there's not. Okay, we're gonna fight our way through this area. Just because I want the, I want the experience. We haven't been farming a lot on this character, and so I want to farm. Through, I want to farm a little bit through here. That's not a... Usually those cages have people in them. You gotta free them. But that that one did not. What did, what did I just get hit in the back from? 
then you win. Destroy the supplies. Alright. I mean, I'm not gonna farm like... Uh, oh, there's bombs on the ground, that's what it is. I'm not gonna farm like super hard here, but I do want to farm at least a little bit. You know, just pick up pick up a little bit of needed experience. All right, I think that might be good. I picked up a little bit of experience. Ooh, we have a better. Wow, wow the. According to this, it considers the Bastier normal sword better. I don't. I don't consider this better at all. But it's a stupid Bastier weapon, so I can't actually sell it. I either have to discard it or upgrade it or do it. Okay, there's always these stupid bombs here. All right. I think it's Arundi time. We'll, we'll deal with Arundi and then we'll call it an episode. What is our... Hold on. Gear score 79, 23. Need to upgrade those weapons. And then we need to do what we did on the other characters and buy the bear's rings and necklace in that set because it gives it gives actually some pretty good... Pretty good... Um, gives some pretty good bonuses to attack. Which at the end of the day, I value attack more than defense. So that's why I choose it. And it's really cheap. That's also why I choose it. But I infiltrated this place after receiving my mission. This spear is really just part of my disguise. I need to look around this area some more. Are you headed towards the gateway? If you are, please tell Tito about what's happening here. Oh, and I'm a bit embarrassed to ask, but you think you can clear an escape route for me? Do you really believe everyone is on your side? Never expected one of your followers would poison the well. Did you? No, it can't be. Still don't understand, my old friend? Why do you think I would come in here unhindered? Must have been taken in by your vile trickery. Havano, you will be cursed forever with this power. Damn it. Well, time to fight. Please let me live. I'm just lost. I promise. Oh, you're not one with the rebels. Phew. Thought I was done for. Arundi, of course. I know who he is. He is no longer human. I saw him with my own eyes. I saw him muttering something to a black stone, and then suddenly he was engulfed by a fog of darkness. Since then, he's been on a rampage, killing anything and everything in his path. I've been hiding here because I'm as good as dead if I get caught. After the incident, I saw Arundi leave the castle ruins and disappear into the forest. I swear he didn't even look human. The mere thought of it sends shivers down my spine. Do you realize how extraordinary you are compared to everyone else? It is truly an unbelievable feat to maintain a sense of self, self while having something like me become a part of you. Hehehe. <laughs> Anyhow, we need to find a way to talk to Arundi. I don't think this is something that can be resolved by exchanging words. Yeah, it's 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 party with Arundi time. All right, let's dance. We're gonna start it. Okay, so we're gonna start it off with spin to win, and go from there. See how much damage the spin to win does. And not that good, but the combos on this character just always look so good. What the? Back into spin to win. This character is not quite as OP as my other ones for early game. It's a little bit more of a challenge, but nonetheless, just destroy Alrundi. All right, Alrundi. It feels as if I awoke from a terrible nightmare. Please tell me, did I really do all of this? Okay, so what are you after? A bounty or what? You see the Jean League sent you here? Jordine and Bobby Lauren must be removed from their positions of power. All of this is for the people of Hydel. Do you know the burden I bear? The hopes of all... The farmers rest on my shoulder. I'm ashamed to admit that sometimes a dark energy consumes my conscience, yet I cannot simply end this revolution, no matter what you Jean League folks have in mind. On the matter of Ravano Tito, one of my men saw him talking to Bobby Lauren. I'm quite certain that Tito has something in this in his possession that will prove this. 
All right. So now we need to inform Isabel about uh, er, about what we were able to find out from Al Rundi. So I think we will take care of that in the in the next episode. I'll run back there now. Actually, it's not that far. We'll do it in this episode. I thought it was a little bit, a little teeny bit farther of a run, but it's not. So we'll go back there. We'll pickpocket good old Bobby Lo er, er, Hermano Tito, and then we'll go from there. This is a great place to farm. I do really love this area for farming. I just, there's never, see, my one issue with farming at the early levels is I think it's actually quicker sometimes if you just do the main quest. Um, because you can speak, if you skip the dialogue, if you just smack A and skip through the dialogue really quick, these missions aren't that long and you level up fairly quickly. I mean, I don't know how many hours I have on my striker class, but it's not a whole lot. And I haven't been farming at all. All I'm doing is pretty much speed running through the story on that character. So that I can bring you guys different videos at different points going over different things on that character. That's essentially that's essentially all I'm doing on that character. And it goes really, really quick. What a fool that Poppy Lauren is. A fool blinded by ambition who abandoned his duties to his own villagers. Alrundi has done well. And of course, we're pleased with your work as well. We plan to continue our support for the rebels. I hope you will help us quell Alrundi again should he should the need arise. On the other hand, what that soldier said worries me. Bobby Lauren traveled all this way to talk to Hervano Tito. I told Povius to inform the Calfian Parliament on the matter. We now need to question Jordine, the Grand Chamberlain, and Bobby Lauren directly. But before that, if he's working with Tito, he may have left something with him. Check his person, but be discreet about it. There might be something interesting in Tito's back pocket. Please make haste. I do not wish to wait any longer on this opportunity. Alright, so... Oh, I got to one... Hold on, I got to 140... Okay, I'm gonna save that. I'm not gonna turn that in on this character. I'm gonna turn it in on my main. Well... We have gold bars on this character. Let's just claim it on here. It doesn't really matter. Exalted character 5 reach 150 or 180 contribution points. So what did that give me? Are these the 100,000 ones? Uh, oh, no. These are the 1 million ones. Nice. Okay. So we need to pickpocket Hermano Tito. Just, you know, out in front of literally everyone. Just, just pick that pocket. All right, here, Isabel. You found something. It's obvious. Show it to me. Uh, your talents may prove useful in our guild. The dexterity of yours is quite useful, to say the least. Show me what you have. Uh, I've received word that you've encountered fierce resistance against attacks. You must remember, however, that all of this is for a greater cause. That nuisance Alrundi seems to be inciting the farmers. We must purge the seeds of rebellion before it grows out of control. You must make an example out of any who dare to help the rebels. There will be less resistance against the tax once you manage to fill the hearts and minds of the villagers with fear. Always remember, history smiles upon the victors. Victory, however, will require large sums of money. I understand you are in a difficult position at the moment. But please, do not forget that these orders come directly from Lord Jordine. I have every faith in your ability to handle it as well. They dare sanction the use of force to purge the rebels? The Grand Chamberlain of Heidel and his henchmen, the head of the Merchants Association, surely do seem to be men of extraordinary virtue. How ironic is it that the head of the Merchants Association would personally make rounds to collect taxes? I don't believe he'd do such a thing if there weren't something to personally gain from it. He must be hiding something. You must return immediately to further question Bobby Lauren. So, that now is going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed Drop a big ol' like if it did, subscribe if you have not, and I'll catch you guys in the next Lawn episode where we will be uh, confronting Bobby Lauren. So I'll catch you guys then. Peace.